So if you look here, if you look here, ah, it has a it, list. It has of, a list. Uh, so this is automatically the software provide, or you have this. Um, most of the stuff BD it comes with, I but see. you can keep adding I see. anything I see. you know, which is so I can say Fitzy. Okay. Whatever CD4, then I can say no, Fitzy is CD3. Let's put that for me. And PE is CD4. You should label here very clearly so that you know. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. This is super helpful. Yes. No, it's it's very it's very uh, yeah. confusing. Yeah. Her CP CD8. And then if you really see, I should not get confused, though you're not using APC oh, at this moment, okay. but this is the area, so don't worry about okay. this. Then you're, that is why don't go by your right, don't go by P1, P2, P3. Okay. Go by <coughs> FL1, FL2, or look at the parameters. Okay. And you know, by looking at this one, you know at the right place, because okay. it gives you some default numbers for APC. So right, this is right. an APC CD20, APC CD20. Now I have my parameters. Okay. Now, since I have my parameters, I can change them here. Forward scatter, side scatter, uh, and then I can say, since I put, I can say CD3, so my side scatter and fit C, because I'm looking uh, at something. Where did you click? Uh, I clicked here. I'll just click that. Yeah. Because I labeled. Once I, I label, okay. these appear. I if I don't label, they it's all like P1, P, P1, P2, P1, I P2. I so you label what you put on that. And this window is called... This is browser. Uh, this, this window. Browser. Yeah, it's called okay. browser. browser. See? Okay. I said yes, it's, it's called browser. browser. Okay. And this is 3, and I just want to see if it's CD4 versus CD8. And I can see... So CD20, yeah, okay. this is it, that's fine, whatever. Okay, so now, and then I want to make a folder where I want to save the data, because this is what it's telling me that, okay, the directory where you want to save. So I will go to change, I will say, wherever you want to save, you know, you want to save on the desktop, you want to save on the documents, it's up to you. So we usually go into the home directory because our instruments are set up in such a way that the minute I log in, the data is going to my server. Oh, I see. You have a so data server. So we have yeah, an yeah. Um, intranet, yeah. you know, the uh, local server. Right. So people don't have to bring USBs to anything. Yeah. But uh, whatever system you have, yeah. it's not a problem. So basically you will go to... Uh, this place, okay. make a new folder wherever you want to. Let's, for your sake, let's do it desktop. Okay, yeah, so we'll desktop. probably just save okay. it. And we say new folder, yeah. and we'll call it uh, 11 uh, <coughs> oh, 06 11 10 oh, 06 underscore uh, underscore tr. Okay. So that way, at least you know we know the minute we look at. Um, okay. And then we say create. Okay. Create an experiment. It says, and then make sure you click on this and then okay. say choose. Okay. Because so you are making that this data should be the destination of the data is in this folder. So you're going to make sure that it's in the right. I got it sorted out and I sent you a text earlier. Who's Rajna? Rajna is uh, a Rangarajna app. She's a postdoc. Did I mess up that one too? I just didn't have a record for her. No, you didn't mess it up. Okay. Somebody out there called. Okay. It wasn't your fault. Okay. okay. It's an easy mistake to make. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you so much, John, for sorting it out. He said, uh, he sorted it up. Oh, the moment? Mm -hmm. So he must have spoken to Kevin. He must have spoken to Kevin. So it's okay.